covered setting up your accounts in a separate screencast, but now I'd like to talk a little bit about calendar management within those accounts. And in order to do that, you're going to need to get to the calendar management window. There's a couple ways you can do that. One way is to go down to this All Calendars button at the bottom and click on Manage Calendars. Another way would be to go over to the Fantastic Health Preferences and click on the pane for Calendar Management. Now once you do that, you're going to see a list of your accounts with the calendars attached to each of them. You can make specific adjustments to a calendar by double tapping on it. Once you do that, you can see I can change the color, I can change the name, and also set it to ignore alerts. Okay, so I'm going to add some calendars related to the Max Sparky stuff I do, and to my family, and to my day job. And I'm going to go ahead and make some adjustments to the colors as well. And you can see I'm selecting these by double tapping on the calendars and I get this nice menu with the information. I can drag them and arrange them. And just like that, I've got my calendars pulled together. Another nice feature is the ability to add calendar subscriptions. And these are created uh, by people online where there's a URL attached to the calendar. And once you type it in or copy it in, it will automatically add those events to your calendar. To do that, just tap the plus button again and go down to new calendar subscription. And then you can type the URL in there. A lot of times you can also get it directly from the web. For instance, on this website, which is called calendarlabs.com. They have a bunch of iCal calendars. I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to the 2014 and 2015 USA holidays. Once I tap that, it's going to go ahead and open up Fantastical 2 with the URL, and I can go ahead and subscribe. It's going to allow me to choose the color, and I'm going to go with green. And now I just added the USA holidays to my calendar. You can see that if I go over to Fantastical and move out to, for instance, July 4. You'll see that the Independence Holiday is listed there and that's from this calendar subscription. Now you'll note that when I double clicked the calendar URL it opened automatically in Fantastical. That's because I've set Fantastical as my default calendar and I showed you how to do that at the end of the Preferences screencast. So as you can see with just a little bit of work you can add all of the calendars you need to Fantastical too. You can learn more about Fantastical at FlexiBits.com.